Data Engineering Design Patterns, ETL. Extract, Transform, Load Design Pattern is the most widely used data pipeline pattern. In data engineering processes, several design patterns are commonly used to address various challenges and ensure efficient and reliable data processing. ETL is the most common design pattern. The ETL process is a fundamental component of data engineering that involves extracting data from various sources, applying transformations, and loading it into a data warehouse or target system. It follows a systematic workflow to ensure that data is cleansed, integrated, and made available for analysis. The first step in the ETL process is extraction, where data is collected from different source systems such as databases, files, APIs, or external services. These sources can be of different types, including batch and streaming. Batch sources provide data in predefined batches or files, whereas streaming sources continuously generate data in real time. Once the data is extracted, the next step is transformation which involved applying various techniques to cleanse, validate, aggregate, filter or enrich the data. Transformations help standardize data formats, handle missing values, correct errors, and perform calculations or aggregations, directed acyclic graphs, DAGs, are used to represent the logical flow. DAGs visually depict the dependencies and sequence of tasks involved in data processing, ensuring that transformations are performed in the correct order without circular dependencies. After data has been transformed, it is loaded into a data warehouse or target system which serves as a central repository for storing structured and organized data, optimized for querying and analysis. The transformed data is typically loaded into the warehouse in a batch or incremental manner. Batch loading involves loading large volumes of data at regular intervals. Whereas incremental loading focuses on loading only the changed or new data since the last update. The loaded data can be stored in the data warehouse using various storage formats like columnar storage or optimized file formats like Parquet or RC. These formats enable efficient data compression and retrieval. Additionally, the data warehouse may employ techniques like partitioning and indexing to further optimize data access and query performance. Finally, the data in the warehouse becomes available for reporting, analysis, and business intelligence purposes. Data analysts and data scientists can leverage this consolidated and transformed data to gain insights, make informed decisions, and build models. To summarize, the ETL process involves extracting data from different source systems, applying transformations using DAGs, and loading the transformed data into a data warehouse. It encompasses handling various source types, including batch and streaming employing transformation techniques and defining the sync for loading data. By following this process, organizations can ensure data quality, integration, and availability for meaningful analysis and decision-making.